And then, uh, very last one, I'll only say a sentence so we have a couple of minutes for questions, but it's huge. We need to let imagination and play back through the doors of our churches, our seminary classrooms, our theological writing. Um, um, we think of play, uh, we're all exhausted all the time. Right now, if we took a survey, probably 99.9% .9 of the people in the room would say they're tired. Probably 99% of all Americans at any moment would say they're tired. You know, um, we think of play as taking a break so we can refuel to go back in and get tired again. What if we thought of play as the real work, creating spaces not only to recapitulate, to make it, make it through another week, get through another sermon, get through, if I could just make it to Christmas, I get three days off, I'm going to the Bahamas, I'm doing, right? Right, just kind of surviving the run and retirement, right? Instead of thinking of play as refueling, which we, you do, we do need rest, we need to refuel, I'm not against that, but play as the space we create where we get enough rest to be able to engage it creatively and with imagination so we can begin to think about what a new heaven and a new earth would look like, right? How we can do church. I mean, all this talk, we need to do church differently. <laughs> Go to a few more seminars, read a few more books. How about creating a space to play and enact? Um, I'm going to stop there because um, I'm going to start talking and then there won't be any time for questions. But I think, I think that's an area we can improve on. We've been a little afraid of imagination because it's a little risky that we'll imagine our own thing, our own ideology. I'm talking about not imagining my great ideas, but getting in a space where I can participate in the imagination of God, right? And catch more of the balls God is throwing.